doing that to dolphin. We're at Marathon Key here in Key West and we have found the Dolphin Research Center. We're gonna go in and uh, see what we can find in there. I guess there's dolphins, and sea lions, and turtles, and birds, and all sorts of fun stuff. So we're gonna go inside and take a look around. We're very excited about this, so. She's more so than I am, but I'm still excited because she's excited. Let's go. So here we are, we're inside the Dolphin Research Center. And this is more of a, a research and, and rescue kind of operation versus a facility where they just have dolphins to show off and do tricks and this and that. They do a little bit of that here too because that involves training and, and, and manipulating, not manipulating dolphins, but training and, and working with the dolphins for their behaviors. So they do a bit of that, but it's more about the research, rehabilitation, and getting them back into the wild. So it's not as a you know, not not so flashy and, and frilly and all that kind of stuff, but it's not still a, a zoo attraction. You're not a, not a zooey. There is another more uh, zooey type attraction up on Isla Morada uh, that we might head to in a couple of days. Uh, but this one here is more of the research center, so we're gonna take a walk through and see what we can find. Dolphin versus iguana. The dolphins are very interested in what's going on right now. So yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Big dude! Big one. <laughs> <laughs> so you got it, you got it, go get it, give it, go get it! Ah! I know. It's just not a whip. I'm doing some fun stuff with Miss Pandora. Uh, Caitlin here is our medical technician. And she is just as good of a relationship with the animals as I do. Hi, Mama. So she's going to say hi and talk to Pandora oh. while we're just doing some blood practice. We take blood from their tail flukes. So what I'm going to ask Pandora to do is just show me her tail flukes. If she didn't want to do this, Pandora is over 400 pounds. And obviously that's not, you know, she's very strong. This is her uh, power source. So this is where she's very strong. She's really nice and relaxed. So just lifting it up is heavy. Uh, but I'm just going to wait because right now she's looking around for Gypsy. Considering Gypsy was butting her out of the way, I'm sure she's like, is she going to come over here? Now that she's over there, she's nice and relaxed, which is awesome. <laughs> hey, uh, say for some reason we needed to get it, then she would be comfortable because we were practicing. <laughs> So Caitlin did everything. She did all the swipes. She even put her pinky down and then put the needle on her. That's when she got a little like, oh, we're going to do this. And then she calmed down. And then I blew the whistle because she was nice and calm. Um, and then she got excited. She didn't even get blood. What is it?
Now, I'm because I'm using it, Gypsy's not there to put her out of the way. I'm going to put it around her pajunkle. We do clip that, but since she did blood practice today, I'm just going to take it easy and just hold it right here. They do clip, we'll swim around with them, we'll do dives with them. But she's already done so much. Yeah, you know. I always want to keep it positive, so that's fine. finished our time up here at the Dolphin Research Center. This was a lot of fun. We learned a lot and a lot of the staff took the time to really educate us on what they do here. The cost to visit this facility is $28 per person, uh, adults, and I feel that our money went to a really great cause. The animals here are well taken care of and uh, pretty neat to interact with them. Being out on the road months at a time, one difficult task for us is keeping Spirit and Sophie groomed. While in the Keys, Sophie was well overdue for a haircut, but luckily for us, we found a groomer just up the road from our RV park, so we made an appointment. Sophie, are you gonna get a haircut? <laughs> right away. While Sophie was at the groomer's, Gary and I headed out to explore around Big Pine Key and found some of the famous key deer that is known to inhabit the area. The Florida key deer are an endangered deer that live only in the Florida Keys. It is a subspecies of the white-tailed deer and it is the smallest deer in America. Sophie did not take long to get groomed and soon after we found the local watering hole for the doggies. After two weeks in the Keys, it was time to leave, but before we left, we spent our last day out on the water exploring the backcountry waters of Summerlin Key. While paddling, we saw several turtles, tons of different fish species, and even had a couple of sharks swim underneath us. We want to thank Florida Keys Kayaks and Canoes located on Summerlin Key for taking care of us when our own kayak failed. Your expertise and advice made our backcountry adventure that much better. This time on the water was much needed. This is how Stacy does her live, Facebook live, while we kayak. Holds the phone with one hand, paddle with the other hand, and if it's shallow enough, she can use the paddle along the bottom of the water to propel herself along. It is only about a foot, foot and a half deep here, so it's not very deep at all. Uh, we've seen quite a few little fish and everything here. Um, it's a pretty pretty cool little paddle we've got going on so far. We're getting kind of blown into the, some of the mangroves right now, so probably should uh, move away. But this is this is Super Bowl Sunday, folks. 
This is this is the best game ever right here. Just playing with nature. We love it. Uh, I could care less about the Super Bowl right now, especially one of the specific teams that's in it. So, guys, enjoy. Sometimes kind of amazing what you find in the mangroves. This looks to be a axle from a boat trailer. I'm assuming a leftover from a hurricane. Next time on Powhana Travels, we review the two RV parks we stayed at while in the Keys and myth bust what it's truly like to RV down to the Florida Keys. Be sure to hit the red subscribe button below so you don't miss our next Powhana adventures. As always, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. Leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We thank you for watching. Until next time, Pow Hana! Hana.